we are on the final video of this little mini course and we are on video 12. So to finish up this course, what we're gonna do is just update the client. So if the user is logged in and they already have a membership, we're not gonna let them see this membership plans link here and we'll remove this button on the homepage. But if they don't have a membership or they're not logged in, then they'll see this view membership options page. So that's what we'll set up. So let's first start inside of our auth service. We'll be working in several files, but let's start inside of our auth service, and that's gonna be inside the auth module. So modules, auth, and our auth service. So here we are decoding the token, and we're getting the username and email from the token. But now we wanna just add on to that and get the is subscriber property as well. So I'll add that to the I user as well. So I'll open that up, add an additional property to the I user. And then we'll make sure we add that to the auth service now at the top here because we're getting an error. And now that we're doing that, we could update this and get the Boolean from our decoded token. Here I do a check to see if the is subscriber is equal to true. It's actually a string that comes back like this. So I check to see if it is equal to this string. If it is, I'll set the current user is subscriber to true. If it's not, we just skip over this and it'll remain false. And one last thing we wanna do is set up our logout and we'll set it back to false when the user logs out. So this current user is subscriber and that's gonna be equal to false. So now we're able to get that information from our token. What are we gonna use it for? Well, we could use that new is subscriber property now to toggle buttons off and on and we'll start inside the header. So what we'll do inside the header, if the user is not logged in, we'll show them the login button. If they are logged in, but they don't have a subscription, we'll show them this membership plan. So we could send them off to the membership plan. But if they are logged in and they are a subscriber, we'll just show them the billing portal link up here in the right corner. So let's start inside the header. The header component is located inside the core folder and it's this one right here. And you wanna open up the HTML and the TS file. And we'll start inside the TS file. So here we'll add a couple more methods. One, we'll check to see if the user is a subscriber. And all we're gonna do is just return the current user is subscriber, that's a Boolean. So we'll get back a true or false for that. So that's the check for that. And we already have a is logged in and that returns a Boolean to see if the user is logged in or not. Then the other method I set up here is to send the user off to the billing portal. If they're getting the billing portal button and they click on it, we want to send them off to the billing portal. And that's how we did that. We already set that up in a prior video, but we need to bring in the membership service and I'll go ahead and add that into the constructor. And then we'll make sure we bring that in from our modules, membership, membership service. And that should take care of the error right here. That's all we wanna do within our header TS file. And now we'll jump into the HTML. And here we'll just change this around a little bit. We'll replace this div right here. And we already have the method down here that checks to see if the user's not logged in and we give them the login button. And then this second div here checks to see if the user is logged in and if they're not a subscriber. If they're not a subscriber, then we give them the membership plans button that we're already seeing now. And then if the user is logged in and they are a subscriber, then we'll give them the manage membership button. And as you can see here, we have the click event that will send the user off to the billing portal if they click on this button. Before we update our home component, let's check out our header, make sure that is working correctly. To get a fresh token, let's log out and re-log in again. So if we go down here, click on the log out, that should log you out and we should see the login and we do. So if you click on login and we log in and we successfully log in, now we see the manage membership. And the reason is, is we have a membership account. So if you click on that, we should be sent off to the membership billing portal page and we do. Next, let's update our home component where our buttons will toggle off and on as well. I'll close everything down. We won't be back in these files anymore and then open up the home component and that is inside of the pages file. So inside spa, source, app, and pages, and you wanna open up the home component HTML and the TS file. 
and we'll start inside the TS file. We already have the is logged in method and the go to billing portal. We already set that up in a prior video. We just want to add one more method to check to see if the user is the subscriber or not. And that's pretty much it for the TS file. And then we'll update our HTML. And the only change we'll do here is we'll replace this. This was our temporary button, and now this is going to be our permanent button. So if the user is logged in and is a subscriber, we'll give them the manage subscription, very similar to what we did in the header. And then if they click on it, they'll go off to the Stripe billing portal. And another change we want to do is right here, we want to check to see if the user is logged in and is not a subscriber. So I'll just copy this, add that within the ng if. But we want to see if they're not a subscriber. So I'll add the not. So if they're not a subscriber, they'll see the view membership options. And the login method, we'll just leave that exactly the way it was. Our home page should update correctly. Let's check that out. We're seeing the view membership options button. So if we log out, we should see the login button. And we do. So that's good. And then we'll log in. And if we successfully log in and we go back to the home page, we see the manage subscription button now. So if we click on that, we should still be sent off to the billing portal, and we do. But there's one more issue. If we go back to the home page now, we get sent back to the view membership options. So that's being toggled back to that. And the reason is, is we're not updating the user when we refresh the browser. So we'll take care of that next. We are currently getting the token from our local storage whenever the browser refreshes from our app component file. So let's open that up. And right here is how we're getting our token from local storage. So here we want to do one more check. We want to see if the token is expired or not before we allow the user to log in whenever they refresh the browser. So here I'm going to add one more check. And this checks to see if the user's token is expired or not. And I'll go ahead and add that within this if as well. So if there's a token and it's not expired, then go and do all this stuff right here. And we'll also add the is subscriber as well. And this is exactly what we did in, inside of our auth service. So we check to see if it's true. If it is, we set the current user to true. I'm also going to add in a else. So if there is no token or the token is expired, then we'll just remove the token. We'll set everything back to null and we'll make sure we set the is subscriber back to false. And that should update our application when we refresh the browser. Let's test it one more time. I could tell it's working already. The reason is, is the managed subscription is automatically showing up. Whenever you save the application, it automatically restarts the application. So that's a good sign. But let's go through all the steps one more time. We'll go and log out. So click on the logout button. And our login button shows up. So we'll go log in again and we'll log in and then if we go back to the home page our manage subscription button shows up and then if we click on that we go to the billing portal so that's still working and then if we go back our button should show up again and it does great i hope you all enjoyed this mini course on stripe checkout and i'll see you in the next course